yeah, I'm going to take the money I made uh, over the last 20 years. I'm going to go back to all the venues I played on that Irish tour yeah. and buy them and destroy them. Yeah, yeah. 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 Slowly to the to raise everyone. Yeah. People go, why, why did you do that? Yeah. And I will never explain why it is that I have taken it. today well why is it a big one cheers what, what's this drink lager delicious um why, big one. <laughs> why are you asking what drink it is just wondered what you'd set up for us today what? big one because we've got a big fantastic guest daro brian yes let's just get him on yes you know daro i do but i mean he's just stood over there let's just get him on so we can start talking to yeah. him yeah come and sit down come and sit daro. down daro please oh, there you go oh, hello there. here you are please welcome daro brian welcome daro um, brian I, I don't know we could give you a big engine but if people don't oh, know who you are by now then they're not going to be listening to this anyway so there's a very good i watched somebody um posted a clip of uh a bad extra acting. I think it was in Raiders, um, and they've gone through the entire film for people who started just after the scene had started uh, walking, Fantastic. and they kept finding people at the, at the edge of shot who were like who were like that, and then he would pull the whip, and they'd and then and then they start walking out, and there's, there's loads of them. Is that one of those things that once it's been pointed out to you, you can't you can't unsee it? Uh, like the man, the the stormtrooper hitting his head in uh, Star yeah, Wars, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and the guy in. Um, not the Bond film that's just been out, but the previous one, who was sweeping, you remember the guy sweeping and his broom wasn't touching the floor? <laughs> right, you okay. see that? It's yeah, the most amazing thing, Bond. Sorry, just... it was, yeah, it was bad acting in Bond movies. It's various bits of like Goldfinger, yeah. where somebody by the pool would, you could see him hovering and then, oh, okay, uh, oh, 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 better go. So hopefully out. that spirit. Uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> clearly that was your walk onto this podcast. Econ Antiques. It was a bit like that with the sex one. Victoria Wood, was it? No, it was, yeah, it was Victoria Wood, but who was it? Julie Walters? Yeah, it was. So Cedar Emery. Yeah, yeah, it was brilliant. There's a lot of things as well I used to look at, and it's movies that had bad continuity. Do you know like these things where it cuts away and it cuts back? And there's, a, there's one that's Matley's like, I, I watched a few of them, but there's one with like Braveheart and he's running, he's running and he's going, oh, with his big sword. And it cuts back and he's got no sword. Then it cuts back in and he's got a fucking axe. It's like, yeah, <laughs> right. what else comes to me? Try it with this. Do you find either of you that now that you've done, now that you've worked in TV uh, and, and film for a long time, that it has slightly ruined it's a strong word, but it's just slightly tainted my, my viewing experience of a lot of things because I'm watching for that shit like a hawk all oh, the right, time. Okay. Yeah. Like, and I notice it so much and I'll, and I'll go, I'll be watching it and people will be going, oh, that's a really funny joke. And I'm like, I can see the cameraman's feet in the reflection of that telly. And it's like, why are you looking at that? Yeah, no, I know. What it, what it ruined for me was the notion that um, outtakes are automatically hilarious uh, right. because um, I remember as a kid, you'd watch... Um, it would be, be all right, right in the night, night yeah. yeah. And then somebody would go and they'd fluff the thing and they'd collapse laughing yeah. and the camera crew would be like oh the stop of the hawk landing yeah. in the wrong place <laughs> oh this is the funniest thing that's ever happened and then you do this stuff and all you've done is extend somebody's working day <laughs> by getting the thing wrong well the thing is and and nothing let's be fair because like we, there was a, a two pints outtake show and every time they use one of our outtakes it's like is it okay if we use this outtake and, and you'll, you'll, you'll be paid f for the usage of your image and we're like yeah great but the crew had to stay on an extra hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't get, they don't get shit. Yeah. And they have no gives it. a damn. I mean, and they yeah, hated if, us. If it's, um, if it's an outtake because it's extra content, as yeah. we have, we have yeah. monetized yeah. viciously <laughs> in Mock yeah. the Week for the Quite. last seventeen yeah. years. Yeah. Oh, don't yeah, worry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like any bit where I go, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, we'll go yeah. in. <laughs> we're sticking the Christmas compilation. <laughs> uh, right. uh, yeah. All that kind of stuff like that. But stuff when you're on location where you were doing a news thing or whatever. And I found very quickly on kids TV, don't that? And my first TV, that you make a mistake. It's not actually inherently hilarious mm -hmm. uh, and that most outtakes are really dull oh hang on <laughs> yeah. okay let's do that again oh yeah. sorry so I'll, yeah I'll sorry sorry everyone sorry whatever. everyone yeah. 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 I mean, you could do like almost as, as a satirical you could do a really dull it'll be all right in the night <laughs> with <laughs> Dennis Norton yeah. and this and it'd just be people getting things slightly wrong and then correcting yeah them, oh and sorry going, yeah. Oh, oh okay do you yeah. find inherent I, I I have to admit it still does get me w watching people struggle not to laugh and then and then corpsing that still will get. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's one of the things. And actually, um, 
the stuff that gets into a compilation on, on panel shows is usually people corpsing the yeah. uh, because it's a, or just getting giddy. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, and so any uh, the, uh, the bits that everyone remembers from Mock will be when we die and I die and, and Ash follows up in the, after the great ap- apocalyptic floods will be the bits where Ed and I <laughs> had fits of giggles over something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And none of that is a constructive thing, but like whatever. We just got into a spasm of laughter over... Colonel Abrams once uh, and oh who? Um, Colonel, you're familiar? Yeah, with, yeah, 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 of course. We didn't know Colonel Abrams. Who doesn't the, know? Uh, and it was it was it, it, that's the um, Colonel, no, you know you know KFC. Trapped. You know yeah. Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's the the Colonel. The Colonel. Oh yeah. no, that's the, <sighs> fuck off, dickhead. You believe me though? Listen, you don't believe me. I was like, and Dara was like, Ralph, what? Are you talking <laughs> about? Um, so a song called Trapped uh, that was out in the eighties. It was kind of an eighties soul uh, funk. Oh yes, case. I know. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm trapped. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. That's Kern Abram. Yeah, right. we're doing. And he invented was, KFC. Fuck yeah. Off. Okay. Yeah. Um, fi- herbs and spices. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and everyone back into music after that. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the God, the money coming in from the chicken. Was, yeah. 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 It became a yeah. side hustle, if anything. The music. Ironically, <laughs> ironically, it became the chicken business became a bit oppressive to him, like whatever. I, and he felt more trapped by that in the end. Uh, but, so yeah, but it was sadly no longer with us, by the way. Uh, is the good Colonel? Uh, he checked out a while ago. But the uh, he checked out a while ago. Oh yeah, it's gone. No, that was not another oh. end of the pun. He did he leave. <laughs> He's dead. He's yeah. dead. Yeah. 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 And I'll thank He's you not dead. to make him light yeah. of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the, um, but no, we had some uh, some silly thing was running uh, about private browsing, and uh, and we and it escalated into private browsing, um, general nonsense, um, major catastrophe. And I said Colonel Abrams, and only me and Ed laughed, and me and Ed laughed for some time <laughs> at mm-hmm. this. Is it I, live audience? Was. Oh yeah, yeah. This is in front of Mark, who were who just were enjoying the fact that we were. We yeah, had, we, yeah. We I think that's the whole it. point of going to see a live show, though. You get to see what you don't get to see on TV. When we were doing two pints, the, 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 the floor manager would be getting increasingly more angry with us because we'd lose it for Honestly. a yeah, good yeah. 15 minutes. Honestly, and the more angry bad. they got, the more pressure you was under, and the funnier. It's like being at school. It was like, if you laugh again, that's it. It's that's like, attention. And we're going to run out of time done. to record, boys. And everyone's waiting. The audience don't give a I shit. Know, but know. the floor manager's like, and the camera crew go, for fuck's sake, get it's a, it's, a really, it's a really curious feeling, that, isn't it? That people probably mostly have only ever experienced in those moments at school. But when you do what we do, that moment of going... I, I am now, this has stopped being funny to other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm now yeah. holding everyone up. The crew wants to go home. I really don't want to laugh, but this weird thing has come over me. So it's this horrible feeling of, sort of I slightly feel sick with the pressure and yeah. it's hilarious yeah. at the same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, it, it's, uh, it is, it, it's handy. It is a nice moment. It is a thing because most of the time, if you're a studio audience, um, yeah, you see the show, you see a longer version of the show the, uh, and you see more stuff. But there's a bit of, Oh, I'm seeing you know the I'm seeing the the, 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 the omelet being made. I'm yeah, seeing the sausage yeah. being made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, uh, yeah sausage rather than omelet. Uh, I'm the uh, <laughs> no one is offended by seeing an omelet being <laughs> no. made. That's More like a standard thing. More Oh, the egg is everywhere. Uh, sorry, no, it's a sausage being made. Is <laughs> yeah, is is a, a, a disgusting one. But the um, uh, there is a touch of like worse in what you were doing because it's the same line. Uh, whereas we hate doing the same line again. We hate going to the audience, look, there's been a fluff oh, and fuck, we're yeah. going to do this and so we're going to try to say the same thing again uh, and so could you all laugh in the laugh same place? The same way. That's the oh, worst. Bad, remember, yeah. the, remember the warm-up guy? The warm-up guy, come on. Jason Manford. Well, Manford? Yeah. He was our warm-up guy for Jason two pints. Yeah. Yeah, he, did, he didn't work two, after doing ours. He was well, it was a shame. He was a lovely lad but he never really never no, really did it. didn't take off for him. Yeah, it was funny. We interviewed Jason. We had him on the last series and he was actually up because he was doing the, the warm up um, and he was up for a part. They had a little walk on part that came in um, to come and Sheridan's this character. Um, she was went off to do a cruise and this like agent guy had to come in. And he was played by the other Ted Robbins. Guy, Ted Robbins. Oh, Ted. So, yeah, yeah. but Jason Manford went in and he said, Will you be up for doing it? And he was like, Yeah, be great. Yeah. And we like got into the show and all that. And he'd been doing one for ages. Anyway, they came up with his agent and said, Oh, it's not going to work out. And then he was doing the one up. <laughs> fucking Ted Robbins walked in. He went, Trust it to be Ted. Yeah, Ted the, Robbins, the king of the warm ups. Mr. Warm up guy, yeah. <laughs> just took, just well, that's, that's a cruel show. He had to. He turned over the part and had to do the warm up on the episode exactly. that he was part of. Yeah, oh, yeah that's, that's, it's bad. That's it, quite brutal. It, that's, 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 by that another warm up guy. Yeah. yeah. He got the job. It was just, he said that was a fucking tough one. Close the door on your way out, honey. It was I, a tough one, yeah. But I did say that, though. Ted Robbins gave him possibly some of the most important advice, career advice he'd ever had, which was Ted said, I'd like to believe for the story that Ted said it on that very night yeah, but probably it, didn't no. but Ted said um, listen warm-ups are great and they're such a great source of income and I've done them for years but 
do them for a couple of series and then and leave, get out. get out. Because if not, before you know it, that's all you do. And guy. Jason was like, he didn't said he didn't really have a huge amount of money. He didn't have a huge. It wasn't it wasn't like it took off for him. But after two series of two matches, he was like. I've got to go, and uh, as we said, it, he's never worked again. But so that, that, yeah. that bit, what, what we were saying there, that bit where we're doing a scene, and you know, the audience have come to see the show, and the Wobble Guy is the toughest gig, you know what I mean? But yeah. in between, when they go, right, we're going to go again, and he goes, remember everyone, laugh in the same places, yeah. and we yeah. all just crawl, it's like cringe, it's like, yeah. fucking hell, we want genuine laughter, not, oh, now. But you're going to go, yeah, same, same line again. The, uh, I'm, I, my, I'm sorry, the dark underbelly of that, of that story about Ted Robbins is that Ted Robbins basically said to somebody who was competing with him for jobs, yeah, don't. don't do this job anymore. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you should get yeah. out of this. Hey, yeah. kid, yeah. you seem pretty I good at this. this gig. Yeah. yeah. So, you seem yeah. pretty good at this, but yeah. maybe you should. Uh, uh, you're getting a bit yeah. too fucking yeah. good. Um, uh, there's a, a comedian um, who, and she was over in, in working in, I'd worked with her in Cork and she was working in Dublin. And this is back in the late 90s. And I met her and I said, I'm thinking of moving over to London, actually. And she said, ah, a lot of Irish comics over there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I met her 20 years later. And said, yeah. Do you remember? I, said, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I yeah. want to ask you to name names, but I'll do it after we finish. Yeah, after you ask it. Now, listen, normally we don't have, uh, it's just a free-form chat on, on this podcast. We don't really have a structure. But because you were coming on, we thought it might interest you. We thought we would ask you, what are your six favourite types of boats? Do you want to boat? kill you now? Another podcast. And look, the chats are great, but it's a bit like, it, it's, it's like mock. It's like, it's a device. Yes. It's, a, it's a red herring. It's a MacGuffin. This, yeah. um, why don't you bring in if you, you know, the three artificial limbs you'd have if you're in a, <laughs> yeah. a, a like a, 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 a zeppelin disaster? Uh, and, and we'll start the conversation from that. Like, whatever you're going, oh my god, and like sometimes they're. You know, if you catch on a particular mood, then you can go really quirky in the whole thing and yes. go right, I'm going to bring this down. But like, then you're going, how do I sum up? These are the things, and like I did this my room, personality room 101 and, yeah. uh, yes. with the oh, first yes, of those, did, yeah. like where you had to come up with the things you most hate in the world. Like yeah. And luckily, stand-ups are always complaining, like basically, you, when you're writing a show, a lot of them, you're writing with things, you're complaining, 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 complaining. The, uh, but I did find, actually I found a read, the, uh, there was a, uh, on Room 101, I put Gillian McKeith into Room 101 and they <laughs> gave me a head of Gillian McKeith, like whatever on a stand, mm -hmm. which I took home with me sure. afterwards. Yes. The, uh, and Don't tell me you forgot it was on the side in your bedroom. Woke <laughs> up in the middle of the night went, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I did forget. I got left in a box and then we were doing it like a house move, we were doing a tidy it and it reappeared. And then so I took it to Q Reuse and Recycle and it went into a skip and I took a picture of her in the skip, her final farewell but to the house. Truly of Room 101. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's she, her goal. No, no, that is really. That's, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah that's, could have set fire to her on bonfire yeah. now yeah. or something. Yeah. That's yeah. the nth degree of room 101. Um, but this is the thing, like, even, even, as I said, Mark is like this. Mark is like, uh, we'll give you points and there'll be rounds and you're going, this is all a lie. This yeah, is none of us makes any of the points being nothing. It's a vague structure to get it some funny people just in the room is, together. You just want some reason to have seven people that just firing one liners on. And, but yet, it's, and it, it, like, you do the show, similar shows in Australia or Ireland don't do. It's a very much a British thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's like none in America. Like like, yeah, no, you love a parallel game. Just in America. Really? No, yeah, panel, not. Americans don't do panel shows at all. Americans do just do chat. I mean, they're, they're in their own contrived way because they've got, a, a de like, there's a big desk and there's three oh, chairs yeah. there and there's mm -hmm. a band and they have their own format that they all do. But the, uh, it, but nowhere else. No panel it, shows. Britain Why is like that? I never know. I know, but they, yeah. they work, don't they? Scandinavia's picked up a bit because because uh, some of these shows get remade in Scandinavia. Yeah. Scandinavia is very very uh, Anglo. Uh, mm. Not Germany. Philiac. 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 Not phobic. Uh, so Philiac. Yes. The uh, but it's uh, Germany. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure, sure they're saying we used to watch Euro Trash. I'm sure they used to. Uh, oh, used Euro Trash wasn't a panel show. No, but they used to show. You know, you, uh, but also, by the way, I used to watch Euro Trash. Did you? Yeah, just for the late night bits of soft porn. Back in the days when you were a teenager. And there were there were four channels, and you used to be like, "What time is it?" Oh, I might get a flash of nipple on channel I might four. Get, and that would definitely the, see the, some nipple. Saddest wank ever. I will, I will <laughs> sit through the seven minutes about a Belgian performance artist <laughs> yeah. who dresses just entirely be some in purple. Porn star. There might be a boob. Yeah. In there. Oh, they yeah, showed a bit of it, didn't they? I know. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason why I watched it. <laughs> Not an RTL. Do you remember that channel? 
I never had RTL. Oh, I you did. were flicking through RTL. You, you, got a, you got the occasional pube on that one as well. Oh, oh, yeah, they went a bit longer. Heady days. Heady days. Heady days. days. It was Fibre's leg every so often. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, um, no, uh, and then people would say, but you know Antoine Con is actually a, a, <laughs> like was a, a very, it's a tremendously respected uh, professor of philosophy yeah, in France. Yeah. It was always, I never knew exactly what Antoine Con did, but it wasn't that. Yes, it was like, yeah. this in France his, it was like, yeah, he was this guy. And yeah, here we were enormously like, respected. Oh, the guy who used to sort of flirt with Jean-Paul Gaultier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was Jean it, yeah. Paul Gaultier, what the hell? Jean Paul Gaultier doing this? Like, yeah. I, I was didn't always really realize on how like significant that was as a kid. But you look back now and just go, this worldwide designer was just yes. always turn up in a gimp suit, going, "We <laughs> 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 It was bizarre. <laughs> it's so God, true. It's so right. weird. Well, yeah, yeah, trash. Yeah, then also, there's at least half our audience going, "What the hell is your trash?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, look true. it up on the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs>
Terry will paint it for you. Uh, and there was a guy, I think it was a, it was a comic, uh, and, but he was, he was a very good artist. And he would, for 400 quid, paint you a proper sized portrait of whatever you would like. Like really? done, and so the guy had uh, it was uh, like if you imagine a rolling uh, background, baronial hills or whatever, a big country pile in the background. Mm-hmm. He's sitting, he's standing there, dressed in Edwardian gear, uh, with a uh, woman on either side in a bikini holding AK 47s <laughs> and dogs <laughs> and, and hunting dogs by his feet. And he got this painted uh, of himself, of himself, as a gag. yeah, oh. as a gag. and it looked. Because I mean, it's done in like classical art style. It's done in like a you know seventeenth century art style. It looks exactly right, and you could get this done like whatever. And I was, oh, that was, oh, that could be what very funny you thing do? to what do. Would you, like, have done? Have, you know, you, you, you're on a straight far from that. I'd be on a boat, obviously, because I love boats. Because you love boats, and we know the, we have yeah, top five. Kind of probably in the prow of a boat, like, <laughs> yeah. like that Lincoln crossing the Delaware type yeah, thing yeah, yeah, with yeah. me, yeah. but with very I don't know other comedians played <laughs> and I'm standing. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, there's really anything you could do that you know. It does sound quite fun, but. And I did think it was quite fun, but it was weeks before my then girlfriend was moving down from Scotland to to live with me, uh, then girlfriend, now wife, and I thought... There's maybe a difficult sell at the very start at this, at this point of hi we're moving Come in. We're, we're sharing our lives together. <laughs> Have you seen this? <laughs> from, <laughs> what what if you, know, you know, you know when all, we with met all, with the ladies yeah. and the guns, yeah. expensive yeah. guy. You know when we, we met and you were you were last here. Um, that wasn't there, yeah. but I, instead of running it by you, <laughs> I've taken up on um, yeah, art of, of oneself is always is always difficult. Some somebody very kindly drew a picture of. Uh, of Will and I, for the, and I think Will's come out of it really. Oh well. yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. that is uncanny it, actually. Yeah, that yeah. is a little, a little. Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I, I don't understand <laughs> what he's seen. Show Ralph, show, show. Oh him. no, 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 we don't need yeah. to look at my hand left. <laughs> no, no, we don't. Need to look hand at left, and show him you. I am not a man who caricatures flatteringly. I'll tell you that. Have a look at this. Never have been. Have a look at this. <laughs> and also, I've never had a lookalike who 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 is a handsome chap. <laughs> it's, it's never oh, really. Worked. No, okay. no, no. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, apart from <laughs> your man, um, uh, the Portuguese lad plays for. Um, Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. That's what we say yeah, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, wait um, till you see this. My, mine's not. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh more. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I've seen some bad characters. Well, that that's is, not great, is that it? That is dreadful. That's oh, not yeah. great. Yeah. I did the um, uh, Richard Osmond's House of Games, and they right. have a kind of a kind of a an avatar, like a mnemonic of you, a visual kind of thing. And it will pick whatever. It will pick your the quiff, right, yeah, and yeah. the beard, like whatever, mm-hmm. something like that. Like, but I have none of that. I, there's no, there's nothing for anyone to latch on. So it was just, it was just eyes <laughs> and a nose. Like because there's nothing else yeah, I can yeah. really. So it was, just, it was just like, there was very, it was just a space where there was like, there was like three other guests, all of whom had something indicating whatever part yeah. of their face, like their glasses or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With me, it was just like, Polar bear in the snow. Just there was these two dots <laughs> yeah. for eyes, two like, eyes and, and a yeah. nose, and, yeah. that, and that was it. Like they had nothing else. To well, go of course, on. you're sort of somewhat infamously on social media. Always, is it what's it called? The speedy butt? What's it? No, um, uh, it was Megabus. 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 Yeah, yeah you're the, the car- Megabus the cartoon man. thing. Yeah, there was another this? one. Oh, thing. Let me find it. I, what, um, is that, it was an episode, it was an episode of yes, Mock was, yeah. uh, that, uh, that there was a story about Megabus and somebody said the guy in the cartoon in the back looks like you and I did, a, did the face to look more like it, there's a big cart, round face cartoon character right, right. Uh, but it goes along a basically a pantheon of people that I apparently look like grew from Despicable Me um, <laughs> really? They, really, honestly any, anything I, I, I am it turns out unbelievably generic uh, <laughs> and easily placed in in most situations. I the, never uh, knew that. But the megabus thing was. What's, what's megabus? And that's right. megabus? It's like um, National Express. It's just yeah, a it's private, private bus company that goes. No, and it was like a quid to go from you know to right. Oxford or whatever. Right. One of those kind of things. But yeah, it right. runs. It it's in. Um, it's global, which means that for a long time I would. They've they've no longer used that character face that looked like me uh, and but for a while there I would see oh see Dara was in, uh, it was in Seattle this week and I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. even have to click on the thing because yeah, it would be yeah. somebody on a motorway going oh, take a picture yeah. of yeah. the back of a bus like, you oh, just yeah. have a quick look at your tour dates and go no I wasn't in Seattle last was. week it's oh, a mega bus, it's a bus yeah. thing it's a mega yeah. bus yeah. thing can yeah. I ask because uh, I've found out um, I was looking up some some information about you and where you came from and yes because um, I think there's a lot of people wouldn't know that you obviously didn't start out in comedy and you were a very intelligent man and you you became, you, you won well, an before, award Before you ask this extremely intelligent question and thoughtful what? question, let's just have a look at Dara as the Megabus guy. 
All right, yeah. <laughs> I've seen that on the motorway. I mean, yeah, that's not news to you, but yeah, there you go. That is the iconic. Again, uh, when when Mock the Week ends and my career ends, that actually sadly was more likely to be the thing. <laughs> yeah. that when the archaeologists plow through yeah, the yeah, yeah, archaeologists yeah. with like four hands or in, however they evolve. First, I mean, I have uh, a my birthday uh, coming up soonish, and. Uh, you know that thing that they have—they have the list of people whose birthdays it is, like whatever was Which I'm irritated because the Guardian had been as broadcaster, which is really bugging me because it was broadcaster and comedian. For some reason, they've dropped comedian. Wow, which, that, drives, geez, which yeah, is thanks. really yeah. yeah. I, I was like, like, oh, happy birthday to me. Oh, I seemingly I'm not. My, yeah, exactly. I, don't, I don't qualify for You're my own job funny. anymore. Like, way, yeah. If I become yeah. podcaster as opposed to actor and podcaster, yeah, 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 like, yeah. That's, that's quite annoying. <laughs> But the thought that, I mean, is you given of like a, a megabus uh, lookalike, if that becomes ever becomes that first, the first line in your obituary. Yeah. yeah. Or that photograph is over the obituary. Uh, you might be not a photograph of you, yeah. Uh, making that face. Anyway. Sorry, go on. You were asking. No, I was, you were asking it was, yes, it wasn't question. an intelligent. It's not that. It's just, I think people, it's interesting for people to know where people, how people start out and stuff. And you, you, you what was it? You won an award for debating. Yeah, well, I, I won the, um, there's a debating competition called the Irish Times Debating uh, Competition. Uh, I was a university debater, which means you speak for society and then and there were, there were intervarsities that you would speak against other universities. And they were quite big events. Like there were 600 people in the theatre. And so it was very much, well, it feels to you like that seems like it's different to what I actually do. That was much more like what I do than actually what I went into college. I went to college to, be, to do science and then saw this thing, this thing which is a big, every, every Thursday and Friday there'd be 400 people in a, in a room and people would be doing speeches either serious or funny in front of this, these big audiences. These big, they're gigs, basically. Really? Uh, and so I was set to the back of those for the first year and go god i wish i could do that like whatever and then give it a go in the second year cracked a couple of jokes that went well and then it started this whole thing and won a, lot, won a lot of prizes won, did you we, did, we did well at it and 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 then one thing of the irish times which is kind of the national debate thing myself and another guy won the uh, won that and then the point of it is that as for winning it you got to go on a tour a debating tour of america uh, in which you would go to Really random parts of America. Mm. There was, the one we did was uh, Denver uh, was the base, and then we went to um, Albuquerque, um, Colorado Springs, Omaha, Nebraska. Wow! Uh, wow. And, I mean, the real, real hot spots. Yeah, yeah. Seen, <laughs> New York, in. LA. No, nope. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh no, I've checked in on the on the current winners. The current winners when the pre-COVID or the the, la the last pre-COVID normal winners as it were. Their tour was Miami. They got to work in the New York uh, oh, St. Mate. Patrick's Day Parade. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, they had like they did in Baltimore, the New York, to Boston, Washington. Oh. We did small Midwestern cities like wow. that, and then got hammered in Omaha. Uh, <laughs> and it was, but it was. Yeah, it was full of. It was just. You know, would you, how old were you been then? 21? Oh, 20, 20, yeah. 20 22. Like and yeah, I bet, like, we look back now and you laugh. Oh, Omaha, we went there, we went to Nebraska, all this, but, but you know what? Oh, it's the finest had a thing. Blast. It was the finest. Twenty thing. years old, you're like, I'm traveling the world. It was incredible. It was, and and we various shenanigans. That, the stuff we can't tell because the two people I did it with are both barristers now, right? And so there were elements of it that must remain sealed yes. until their careers yes. finished. The uh, there was, there were certain <laughs> criminal elements to it, uh, and and then it was just weird. I mean, we book, we rented a car in Denver to go for drive because it just they would leave us for days on end in a hotel in the middle of the city. Denver is a suburban city. There's nothing in the middle of the city mm -hmm. except. A hotel with us three just <laughs> cooped up and they we so we rented a car with a provisional license that one of us had uh because we told the person in the thing that provisional meant that it was going to be internationalized soon uh, <laughs> and therefore we were allowed to take the using car using those using those persuasive debating skills absolutely that, yeah. we all nah, yeah. we all yeah. uh, made speech, yeah. like making speech uh, but the best thing about it was that it wasn't the best but one of the things was the uh, it was the same motion in five different debates against five American universities. It was the same motion. So by the, end, by the time we got to the fifth one, we could preempt everything that they were going to say. Right, so the yeah. first of us would go out and just go, they will tell you. This, oh, this, 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 just completely this, like, kill them. Yeah, and nihilist. you can see them going, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> and then, yeah. Jesus. And then the other two would just, we would just go, you know, yeah. and, I, and I would go and just do gags. It was, uh, I always go, boom, 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 here we go. But of yeah. course, when you were doing, when you were out there sort of having a drink and getting your provisional, with your provisional or soon to be international soon driver to be license. international driver license, um, yeah. I don't think it's unreasonable is it to say that uh, the Irish accent tends to carry a lot of cultural c currency in America yeah it does it's, it's weird though the, uh, because it's um, yeah it does but it, it, it tends to uh, plug into their experience of either being Irish or knowing the Irish and what they always mean when they say Irish is this sort of unrecognisable thing to us the uh, oh, yeah. which is Irish American yeah. which is so their references are 
I'm Irish, and then they'll say, my dad was a cop in Chicago. Yeah, and, exactly. blah, blah, blah. and you're going, yeah. none of that is yeah. anything to do it's with really us weird. anymore. I mean, it's like the ice flow split. And it's this weird kind of thing who, and it, you can see them when Irish people, uh, Irish American people come over to, the, uh, to uh, Ireland and feel slightly rejected because they have been fed this idea that sure, you're, you're, you're Irish. You're, mm-hmm. you're, you're Irish. The minute you go yeah. back to Ireland, it will be like yeah. returning it's home. Like, no, it's, I think American. it's even more jarring if you're an Italian-American. I was about to say, really? so you, because you, Ita- you yeah, Italian-Americans go over to Italy yeah. and they're all blah, 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 Un- whatever. Unrecognisable. Yeah. It's totally... It's, it's, yeah. and, and I've it's, talked to Lindsay about this and it's, uh, uh, because she and her family, I mean, her surname's Ferentino, but they don't, they don't consider themselves yeah, yeah. Irish, um, Italian-American. But Americans will say, oh, well, she, they're Italian. And that what they mean is Italian-American. Yes, and I've had to say to Lindsay's family, I've gone, look, when you're talking to me, and perhaps in the world of adults, um, <laughs> can you please specify if you mean Italian-American or Italian? And they go, why? It's the same thing. And I went, no, it isn't. The, the, the Italian-American and the Italian bear no resemblance Absolutely to each no other whatsoever. It's yeah. two entirely it different cultures. No, well, no, they, they were, were, they Italian, were Italian, but, but they came over. And then, and, and then their identity was baked in, in, in the 100 years after they came in, where their being Italian-American was this community. But it just evolved. In the sense that I go back to Ireland now, and I don't see the day-to-day stuff over there. So I feel now slightly like my ice flow is moving away from Ireland. Like whatever right. the, uh, and I was, I was born and raised in Ireland. I only left when I was 30. Like, but I've been gone 20 years, and now I feel slightly out of Because I'm not there. But can you imagine 100 years of being in America yeah. and then you come back and a couple of generations you grew yeah. up and you've never you been to Ireland. dipped in aspect and also the, the way I kind of explain it is, is, is the, the way the Irish Americans are different Irish is they define themselves as being different to Italians mm. Jewish Mexicans other large immigrant communities this is who we are our identity is right no one in Ireland is defining themselves by their difference to Italians Jewish people yeah. or Mexicans I mean it's the English basically uh, yeah, yeah. Which, and, which is reasonable but, uh, at the, uh, so it's a so it's, it's, it's a totally different factors are played. So, so they, you can see and you, you're, you've got to be sympathetic to it like in the same way that my kids you know, or, or their kids will go well I'm Irish and they'll go back to Ireland and they'll go no, yeah, no yeah, you're not, not like whatever. and you hope people aren't rude about it and you don't want to be rude about it but it is it is very difficult to make people in America understand that no, no we didn't stay like that yeah, yeah. we went, carried on doing whatever journey we were on for good or bad like <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, different exactly. country now what they, they'll uh, do the um, uh, uh, further to that kind of whole Italian thing is they do this really weird thing with Italian foods it, it, Italian foods that the Italian Americans sort of have now and yeah. even, even Italian American cuisine and Italian cuisine it's not that much resemblance right but they'll go they drop the O off off foods in the most kind of confu- unnecessarily and weird, confusing way. So I say, oh, do you want some? Do you want some prosciutto? Not prosciutto. Do you want some prosciutto? Oh, okay. oh I'm that? Italian Americans. It's a real. Th- I promise you, it's a real thing. Like in the Sopranos. Why do they do that? Because they're Italian American. That's that's how they, that that culture is, is developed. So you want some prosciutto? I'm going to make it with some mozzarella. Right, not mozzarella, and, and they do this, and it's a genuine thing across so many foodstuffs. And I said to Lindsay's family, who aren't Italian American, but that's how Americans now, because yeah, yeah, of the yeah, Italian American yeah. influence, say that stuff. And they go, You want me to make that with some uh, mozzarella? Lindsay's mum will say, and I go, Can you, can, I'm sorry, Margie, <laughs> I'm sorry, can you, can you please? Say mozzarella and prosciutto and and in and, this and, house we yeah. pronounce the words and, and, correctly. And, and, yeah, and it's like, like okay, I, I, I'm I'm willing to take par- parmesan because because yeah, Italians okay. say parmigiano and we've bastardized that to parmesan, yeah. but whatever. But they don't say parmigiano; they say parmesan, right? So I said, can you please do that? And she went, she went, no, no, because that's that's how it's pronounced because uh, that's how Italians pronounce it. And I went, no, no, they don't. No, she said, she said that's how Italians pronounce it. And I go, I'll tell you who doesn't pronounce it like that. Italians, actual Italians. They're quite famous for having O's at the end of their word. And going, Parmigiano. Don't now tell me that that doesn't happen. So yeah, it's uh, full of tension in my household when I'm in America. Well, like well, they well, they well, love well. me criticizing the way they speak. It goes really? down really well. There was, like, there was a running joke was the, uh, that Irish people could go to America and tell them anything. You could tell them anything. Oh, we live in a big hut, all of us in one village together. And you know, and they could make up stories and the Americans would go, oh, right, okay. And we genuinely thought this is a fabulous trick that we used to play on Americans. You go, oh, we tell them anything. And and our chieftain does this, and then we have this tradition where we do it. And the Americans are not along, like whatever. And it only took, we thought it was a great game, and, then, and it doesn't take much analysis to go, no, that really isn't a good sign. That's saying that no, they yeah. know nothing about it, and B, sort of are just nodding along. Yeah, to you. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay, whatever, man. You know, That's, yeah. This conversation put me in mind of something that really bugged me when I was 13 and I first saw it, and I've just remembered it, and it's, it's the perfect example of what we're talking about. You remember The Rock, the film The Rock, Nick Cage, yeah, Sean Connery? Okay. 
like great film, one of those kind great of film. outright action films, balls to all action films that still genuinely a good film. Like yeah. it's just I've fun. Comedy and as well, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, and Nick Cage. And also, it, it contains the really important strategic thing that if you have a if you have a raised position in a gun battle, yes, uh, for yeah. example, we are in an elevator. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't remember get that scene. <laughs> I can't yeah. like, yeah. We are, yeah, we you are stand in a, down. We are, we are yeah. in an elevated position. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. In what looked like a, like a shower room. Yeah, it was that a shower room. Yeah, that a thing. Why? Why did Why was there terrace in the shower room? What are they doing? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, um, but it was very, very, oh, wow, yeah. I never thought it'd be, yes, yeah. it would be, yes, because it would. Yeah. Elevated position. But, but yeah. the, the, the sort of most concise example of what we're talking about, as in the American, not even attitude, but understanding of uh, English, uh, of the UK and, and Britain, English and Irish, Scottish and whatever, there's this line which is perfect. It's so concisely explained, it, it encapsulates what we're talking about. Sean Connery, Sean Connery, right? He gets he gets punched. Was that him? Yes. Right. Uh, but the point is, it was like he was in the room. Like he was in the room. The point is, right, we know that Sean, seconds, Sean Connery's right. Scottish. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> yeah. Right. right. So, so put the, um, the speak out thing in. <laughs> I think you're better bonding. off. So Sean Connery's this guy. He gets caught, and it's the moment he gets caught, and this guy gets behind him. And he punches him in the stomach and kicks him. This American guy. And Sean Connery's wheezing on the floor, and the guy goes, "English prick." Did I tell you my old man was Irish? And you go, how many of those are you going to get wrong? <laughs> yeah. How much yeah. of that is inaccurate? And no one in America will have watched that and gone, that didn't make any sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you, I was watching uh, Hunter Red October last night. Yes. Second half of Hunter Red October. And there is a bit where Alec Baldwin, uh, as Jack, whatever mm -hmm. the... Uh, um, having got onto the submarine that your man is on, give me a ping, Vashali. Yeah. Uh, then is crawling along, doing the Bruce Willis. Ah, come down to the Cape. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hang out for yeah, a yeah. yeah, come down to the coast. Hang out for a few days. Yeah, it'll be great. Um, he's doing one of those kind of like interior, interior monologue while trying to track down the guy. Mm -hmm. And he does an impersonate. He goes... Well, oh, be careful what you shoot in here. Uh, and he, so he, an, Ameri an American playing an American, is, starts mimicking Sean Connery, the Russian playing guy. Playing a Russian submarine. Scottish, yes. it, with a Scottish accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like, he's like, well, no, that's so... Well, you think what, about Highlander is one of the most amazing oh, things. Great. It's one of the most yeah. amazing things that they got they got a Frenchman with a French accent to, yeah. a, to sometimes attempt playing a Scottish guy with a Scottish accent, but mostly sort of not bother. And then they got a Scottish guy to play a Spanish guy, and you go, who's casting this thing? No one that but somehow it works. The same people who are casting Jason Statham in American films, because he <laughs> cannot do the accent. Oh, hasn't, How many films? Hasn't Jason just sort of stopped bothering? I think he, I just, think he has. It. He I just, think he and then it's sort of better for it. It's just like, yeah, just do your thing. Just do what you do. It. No one cares. Yeah. I went, I drove for America once, we were doing a thing called the Bull Run. It's like the Gumball oh, yeah, Valley yeah, yeah, America. Yeah. Uh, um, and these cars and all that stuff. Great fun. Um, and then you get stopped by the police quite a lot because once you go through a few states, uh, they let you they know, know you're you there's a hundred supercars going through, and you know, and um, so they let so they you basically have one guy in the car who would be looking out for the police because basically you, you, do, you don't want to be stopped because it slows you down because you get checked in at your checkpoint and then you get a place in when you get to your final destination of the day where you are in the rally. So you can't call it a race, but there is a winner. So you want to end up on the pecking order. Yeah. So, so you don't want to get stopped. The tickets, you didn't give a shit because it didn't really affect your English license. So you just say, can I get on my way? So a, t a way of getting out of a fine or something, you come up with an excuse of what you're doing the rally for. So... We got stopped by this officer. I remember we were going through a state. Um, Pulls all out, fuck, you know, what are we going to tell him? So I said, I've got something. So he said, what's going on? So I said, yeah, well, sorry, we're on this rally, but we're doing... Connery. No, that was, yeah, oh, okay. that was, that was called right. Generic American. Okay, right, carry on. That's why I kept it short. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best he, accent. He's travelled around a bit, that guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's all over yeah. the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's quite yeah. neutral, so parts of them are English. <laughs> Go on. So uh, Mancunian English, actually, American. Yeah. Mancunian American. Yeah. Anyway, so I started, start, what's going on? So I said, um, yeah, we we're on the, doing this rally, and he said, I said, well, it's for charity. Because I thought, I'll get the charity. What's the charity for? So I said, um, we're raising money for the penguins on the Thames. <laughs> so he said, why? Yeah. So I said, well, the penguins, the ice is melting on the Thames <laughs> in, in London. Did you not know this? He was like, no. So I said, yeah, the, the ice is melting, the penguins are dying, so we're raising money so we can get these penguins <laughs> in, into captivity and saved. Anyway, and, it's a great car, sir, on your way. I was like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Off. He, he swallowed the lot. It would have only been better if you'd have gone, and this is a provisional license, which <laughs> yeah, means yeah, it's yeah, about yeah. to become yeah, international. Honest yeah, to yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, Honest yeah, to God. Yeah. And he completely swallowed it, believed it. I think they just live in their own little bubble. And they, they're, they're there, is, there is an element of bubble, and there is an element of, of they, they're, it's their self-sufficient culture, so they don't need to have anything come in. You saw me doing, doing shows in New York. Mm -hmm. um, the... Uh, 
two years ago now. How was that? Yeah, yeah, crazy, and yeah. And, uh, and so we did some stuff over there, and it is the most difficult place. To t- I travel a lot with stand-up because of stuff... Live of the Apollo's on everywhere, and Mock the Week pops up, and oh, Britbox really? everywhere. And so you the, tour around so Europe. So I tour around the world with the stuff like whatever. Oh, so you'll really? do Auckland, Great. or you'll do Vancouver, or you'll do M- Moscow, or you'll do all these places. Wow. And of all of those, the most difficult one to sell is anything in America, because mm. America is has a bubble culturally. That stuff is very. I mean, you hear of things getting in, the, the Office getting in, or Benny Hill legendary getting in. Yeah. But day to day, ordinary the stuff like that Benny Hill. doesn't is get he in. Like to a, me, talk about Benny Hill anymore? Uh, you, you can, can talk about him. Yeah. 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 Name for a long but, time was Benny Hill. Benny Hill and Monty Python were the only things that got in. Yeah, right. yeah. you Benny mentioned his name, but I wouldn't do with some of his characters. If yeah, yeah. Okay. Slap yeah. people on the head and all that stuff. Not, yeah, <laughs> but the uh, but he 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 was a kind of a, 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 a an export that, that actually broached that briefly. But the uh, but very a little bit more stuff trickles in because of the internet now. But it's the most difficult place yeah. to make any kind of impact on yeah. because they have that they radiate out. Nothing comes in, yeah. uh, and it's very tough to, for them to. Great, but you yeah. you can sort of travel travel around all them countries doing your, your job. Oh, it's fabulous! It's uh, honestly, and that's because of mock of the week. And it's because mock uh, mock, uh, mock of the week. Um, Italian mock, so mock, mock, mock of the week. Mock of the week. We want a little prosciutto with your mock of the week. I'm going to say all. I'm going to say all. The only I got a mock of the week. Mock of the week. Mock of the week. Yeah. So because of that, the success of that. No, what's the name of the show we do? Mock of the week. Very good. Show we do since 2005. Mock of the, mock yeah, of, yeah. There was a security guard in the BBC who used to come in and he would go, Mock of the Week? <laughs> and I would go, Yeah, whatever, man. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not fighting this battle anymore. No, it's fine. No, it's yeah. literally written behind me. Yeah, uh, and that's yeah, really that's like my face there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the. Um, the uh, success of that show was it was it was that actually weird. Live of the Apollo uh, went everywhere. Yeah. So Live of the Apollo would be just this, you're doing a twenty minute or forty yeah, minute yeah, set that. that would be seen on NRK in Norway or on the New Zealand channels, it's whatever. Not Norway, I've seen yeah. you t- tweeting about dates in I Norway. I do lots of dates in Norway. Lot, yeah. Norway is a very, a very, a very, a very angular affiliate, so we do lots of stuff in Norway. Right. The, uh, and so I have a Norwegian set. I could no. do a good 15 minutes just on Norwegian stuff. Really? They, yeah. I mean, I got, Norway's kind of interesting culture uh, in its own way. The, uh, you know, quite, they were always kind of like more in, in the shadow of, of Sweden. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then oil, ton of money, uh, but have this kind of like ethos called Janta Löwen. Janta Löwen is a kind of a Scandinavian ethos of like, don't be showing off now about your money. Mm. Don't be showing. And I remember being on a plane over to Norway and there was a guy and I, and I, was, I was reading a guidebook and he leaned over and said, is he, are you coming to Norway for the first time? I said, I am. He said, and so he gave me a bit of a, you know, well, here's a primer, essentially. Uh, he would say with his immaculate fourth language, yeah. uh, here's a primer on, on Norwegian culture. He said, think of Janta Löwen. And he said, so we don't, like we don't show off about having money we don't make a thing of it you know it's people have a little cabin in the woods maybe you know mm-hmm. maybe they, if they've got a boat there's a small boat like whatever and i said well that's really interesting so he said yeah he said we're not he said and he was pausing to find the right we're not how would about this we're not russian he said <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. going, okay, with a fair respect to the Russians, I know exactly what you mean yeah. when you say that. Like that. So, yeah, so it was. Uh, so yeah, they're they're quite an interesting, yeah. uh, an interesting uh, set of people. Like the, yeah, there was a, uh, a, a up in the far north part of it. Uh, somebody said, uh, I, "God, it was what is it? he said." Uh, yeah, we had. Um, yeah, we have a uh, we very Spanish culture. He said up here. And I said, "Why? Really? Why do you try to say?" Yeah, because there was a boat that um, from the Armada that got lost, no. uh, was driven away in the in the battle and escaped by basically going up the Norwegian coast and pulled in, and they initiated you know lots of very Sp- they, they moved in. They basically shagged loads of people <laughs> in Norway. And so he said, "We're very, we're very Hispanic." He said, "We're very we're very Hispanic." He said, "That uh, is in this part. Yeah, the la- it was like oh the people of northern the people of northern the Norway again different kind of playing with people know the Norway are very Hispanic yeah. and you're going oh no Latino I think he said very Latino, Latino. and I said I don't, I'm not getting that man no, I'm not no. getting that at all I, but he said there's a yeah, there's a village just north of here he said if you want some good tapas yeah they go, he said, no they do a siesta he said and you're going you no. <laughs> yeah. you're going to get, hours, all, to get all the midday sun you've got an hour of sunshine a day you yeah. can't <laughs> be spending it asleep uh, <laughs> so uh, it's a re- it's a it's a very interesting culture it's a very you know and it's just randomly fun to be yeah. Yeah. To gig over there. Like, big in yeah. Norway. Big in like, Norway. Cool it's great. Thing, to have yeah. some of that, like, it's really yeah. nice. Yeah. I, I keep it. It's, it's quite a tribe question because I'm sure you've been asked it a million times. But I, uh, me and Wilt had a talk the other day, yesterday, a couple of days oh, ago, yeah, yeah. about both of us share this love of the idea of doing stand up. We've always been people who've made our mates laugh and whatever, but 
we're savvy enough to know that it's not just a case of transferring those skills. On. Yeah. It's like you said about Joan Rivers there. There are techniques and skills and yeah. things that you learn from experience and often from bitter experience and difficult experience. And, I, you know... You've got to know what it's like to die. Yeah, and often I just wonder, never if, like, died often I never wonder if we're like too old and slightly too successful to have to go through the pain of that now. But, um, so my question being, your, your first gig... Yeah. Were you were, were you shitting? Uh, four hours of, of uh, nervousness, four hours of crippling nervousness beforehand. Wow, I remember still walking bitter. around a place called Ranala in Dublin because there's a friend of mine who ran a kind of an arts club, uh, which oh. would have stand ups and singer songwriters and performance artists. Uh, and he set this thing up for a summer, kind of a summer, a, a jaunt of a thing. A guy who's now a, a, a Supreme Court judge in Ireland actually he said mm. this, this <laughs> very recently. Uh, and uh, but he set up this kind of arts comedy club thing, and oh, let's try this like for the summer. The, uh, and uh, uh, so I said, they said, you should do it, you should do it. You've done this thing in, in college, you should just do it. Write 10 minutes of stuff, like whatever. And I wrote uh, not great stuff, like whatever. The, uh, uh, and Can you remember the first show around, you I can't remember the first one. I remember there was, uh, there was a, there was, I mean, this is the level of how specific it was. There was a, le there was a joke about, I think, called the Marson visa that managed to do something about, uh, who's Iron Maiden's later? Uh, not the, no, no, um, is, who's, Bruce, who's, who's the Marson? Oh, who's, anyway, Dickinson. He, he, mixing he, Bruce yeah, Dickinson yeah, and Bruce yeah. Marson. Anyway, it, 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 the level of, there was some other, uh, it's a jokes about the Seven Dwarves. I remember there was something mm. in it. It was, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was, I can remember very little of it, except that when I eventually got around to doing it, after walking up and down that part of Dublin, quietly just, bricking it for I think four hours of wow. being nervous uh, and I held the microphone stand in the middle uh, and was uh, you know grabbed this and, went, um, and here's another joke and here's another joke and it went sufficiently well mm. that I you know did it again I'll do it again yeah. and that's how it works but you must have got a little bit of a bug for it you do oh no you do and you get the buzz of afterwards oh mad I'm really the up adrenaline, you know yeah. the adrenaline's huge like whatever those things don't it's never you're never as low as that and you're never as high as, as you are at the very start of that like yeah. the yes grand and now now you need to do more stuff just to get the, you know yeah, 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 now yeah, I've got to yeah. do two yeah, hours like any drug just yeah. to get any kind of yeah. thing yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I've developed I've developed a resistance to my own enjoyment of my job <laughs> uh, would you just hope the audience doesn't also yeah I know you have to do the full three just to get anything um, I, I think we, we've had you for a while, so I'd like to ask you one final question. Go on. And we, we just talked about um, the start. Yeah. So yeah. I want to bring you right back to kind of like now. Oh, the, the end of the book. Uh, yes, where, the end of the book. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I made that seem like it was extremely planned, uh, but that's a lot more formal than this has ever been. But but no, we, uh, a, well, a few years ago. Yeah, I'm going to take, take the money I made uh, over the last 20 years. I'm going to go back to all the venues I played on that Irish tour yeah. and buy them and destroy them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Burn slowly them to the going to raise everyone. Yeah. People go, why? Why did you do that? Yeah. And I will never explain why it is that I had. No, to never. That means no new comedians can come through as well. Oh, so you entirely. Just destroy, you I am, I'm your legacy is I was the, the, ladder, last. the ladder behind me. Um, uh, you and uh, you and I actually we had a beer and and um, and something to eat a few years like five years ago maybe a little bit longer and you said something that I've always remembered which is we were laughing and talking about the nature of this industry and the nature of what we do and how no matter who you are you're always only a couple of jobs from being full of anxiety about what's yeah, next yeah, yeah. and I think yeah. I, I made a joke to you about like um, at the time you know, John, Johnny Depp's had some tough times recently but back then Johnny Depp was riding high yeah. but I said to you as like even somewhere in the world Johnny Depp is going ooh the Lone Ranger didn't do so well a couple more of those box office flops and maybe I'm done right and you said to me yeah like a few just a few weeks ago or a couple of months ago you, you, you said oh it was just a couple of months ago where I was like okay I've got Mock the Week that's been going successfully for over a decade I've got the uh stargazing, I've got your math show, I've got your gaming show, I've got this, I've got that, and I've got a successful tour learn, lined up. Maybe I can finally exhale. Yes. Yeah. And my question to you is, no. Have you exhaled? No, I've never exhaled. No. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because yeah, COVID came along and I said I didn't have any work for, for a year yeah. and a half and I went, oh, oh, oh yeah. I got no skills. Uh, and I don't think, I, I, I honestly don't think, I think it was originally because I was in the running for Have I Got News For You and I thought, uh, for the, get, when they thought they might settle on somebody yeah. and it narrowed down to a few people and I briefly was in the running for that because I did a load of them and I, that was where that popped into my head the notion of, oh my God, that'd be great. You'd mm. be you'd be in the thing. Two panel you'd shows. You'd be in the thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, this is before Mock. Right. Uh, 
Yeah, and I traded that credit to get Mark. <laughs> yeah, right. and that ended. That burned that bridge totally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and because they are very gracious, people have Irish news who are really gracious about things like that. Really, really. Well, really. I don't oh, really. I wouldn't re- know Dara because they've re- never re- had me on even as a guest, despite me oh, asking really? repeatedly. Okay. So I, I wouldn't know, but you carry on. Oh, Paul's lovely. Yeah. With new comics in particular, lovely guy. He's, oh, guys. he's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> really funny people. Yeah. 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 I mean, it'll, it'll be said about Paul. Oh, he was always so. Well I mean, Boris Johnson's hosted it, and he's the worst man in the world. Yeah. But don't worry, I'm not bothered about being asked. Anyway, do go on. The, uh, but no, I don't think I ever, you know, I, 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 I ever, you know, when the, when a tour is up and running, at least I go, well, this is going to happen for a year. For a little while, yeah. yeah. This, yeah. I've got a year, a year and a half out of doing this. But then the tour stops and you got to write a new one and you go, oh, God, has yeah. anything happened? Have I got, Listen, I, have I got anything to talk about? I, I, like, I, I, you Will know, they come? Yeah. I've been Will doing Death is? in Paradise for two and a half series now. Um, it was such a, such a relief and a joy for it to come on. That's right. That's six months work. A lead, a lead in a TV show. I'm so lucky, right? And that was two and a half years ago, and already it's got. You, I, I'm back now. Going, what about the six months in between when I do shows, and what happens when I finish? And yeah, what do, yeah. do you think you ever get to? Do, do you think you ever get to a point where you just go, do you know what? I, I, I can relax. No. Or do you not think that? I don't think. I don't think. And I don't think that's. I don't think that's actually a bad thing. No, I agree. Thing. Really important for the end that people don't think we do what we do. Whining, yeah, yeah. I'm your freelancer. This is and you chose to be exactly. a freelancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's gone because you like that change and you like that the way it moves and and it forces you to do the new thing mm-hmm. uh, and all that. And if anything, maybe there's a touch of like I don't think I hustle the way I used to hustle. I don't think I feel the need to hustle. There's, mm-hmm. there's some of that, like, mm-hmm. but I'm still writing a show and I'm still going out and there's a way to do it. But there was an element that COVID made. You could see a schism between the young comics who are going, right, I've got to move this all online. I've got to be digital. I've got to create content. I've got to do a podcast. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. Mm-hmm. And then there were older comics who went, no, I've got to homeschool for three hours now and I can't be arsed. <laughs> uh, and, <laughs> yeah. and so there wasn't, maybe at that point, you did feel the line of people going, you know what, I don't need, I don't need to be doing this. My, <laughs> I engage in a nightmare of having to break America, having to properly go and do America, having to do the ha-ha hole in, in you know, Atlanta. Comedy and, and then do, Yeah, and then just go, and actually that go to all that again. Sorry, like just a, in your accent, because you say ha-ha what, hole. The, what, the ha-ha hole? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the ha-ha hole. Uh, <laughs> the, but the thought, the thought of, I don't think I, I don't think I have the energy to do the, to do the whole full hustle back up to this again. No. I don't think that. So I think there's that element mm. to which it has happened. But like, uh, yeah, you never, you never, and you never lose the sense of imposter. You know, because there are no. people who don't like you, uh, yeah. and there's plenty yeah. of them, like whatever. Yeah. And maybe it'll tilt, you exactly. know. And also, I, I'm, I'm philosophical with the fact that it stops, it winds down. It, it'd be nice if somebody were to tell you that, were to go, oh, you're done. Oh, yeah, 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 like whatever. Yeah. That was great. No, you did great. No, no you managed to drag yourself it's over. Yeah. much longer than most people would, yeah. but. I know you're done. Or even, you're listen, you've got two years left. Have as much fun as you want. Just and then you'll be done. This, this and, the last you're doing because and make plans for when you are done because mm. go sailing or whatever you yeah, want to do. Because frankly, you know, it's all Ramesh now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's oh, all Ramesh. Yeah. Actually, we should get him on. Do you know him? Uh, no. Okay, because we really need to up our game with yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, if you're still dragging, if you're like, I'm here going, oh, we got the best of 2005. <laughs> you and me, you got to be going. <laughs> You well, I told you I was in Edinburgh in 2002. I've only got that group of mates. I don't know any of the oh, look, guys. Oh, we, we all came through at the same time. Like, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and, exactly. and, and you see me on the edge of, of uh, at the end of Mark the Week going, hanging out with the younger comments. Hi, guys. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. What are we doing after the show? <laughs> okay, nothing. Okay, fine. I'll just, but, yeah. I'll just go home. <laughs> the, yeah. Yeah, They're all fit and healthy. They're like, yeah, we don't drink actually. Oh, we just God, go to the gym. Oh, God, my tits. But yeah. anyway, that's a whole <laughs> <laughs> we all gonna have a booze. No, you, you're, no, you're having no. work tomorrow I've got morning. yoga. Actually, and yeah. Here's the thing that we, here's the, the, the single difference between this generation of comedians and other gen, and, and my generation, right? Is that they have a muscle here that none of us had. <laughs> they have a little weird midly midly muscle that, uh, and they all do sh- tight t-shirts and go, "Hey, isn't it funny that?" And you're going, "No," because I can see this <laughs> muscle here, and you care too much. You have that muscle there, like whatever. None of Russell, our lives. Russell, Russell's in shape. Russell. Oh, the, yeah, Russell. I'm and, Russell and he Wears his little tight t-shirt, yeah. but Russell's Russell's somewhere in between. Russell's exactly my age. He's, he's right, like a month okay. younger than me, and you're slightly older than me. And I guess the new generation of comics that you're talking about are probably slightly younger than me. But Russell seems to occupy that exact space yeah, in between that, generations. Yeah. yeah, I no, I was never. I was already an older comic when I was a younger comic, so there's never never a thing. But certainly, that you've always had like, a worldliness to you. I've I think that's had fair a, to say. A kind of weather beaten, a kind of a, <laughs> <sound> like, <laughs> a, a journeys have been taken in this body. Uh, and, uh, but I've, I don't think I've ever ever had whatever that, that one is. Down the whatever tricep. that does. Yeah. I mean, tricep, tricep horseshoe. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, great. Well done, lads. <laughs> I mean, if 
you'd like to see. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I have a small version of it. I'm just touching there, like whatever. Doing with it. But the, I uh, think that's a bingo wing. I think that's a slightly different thing. The, uh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, but it's, it's a. Uh, it's no, and, and so that is that is different. They, we were shuffling around um, and and going straight to late and lives over that. Like whereas they're yeah, all yeah. they're kind of ripped. Like and yeah, it's a different, different culture, man. Different Saying age. all that though, now what is next? What is happening this year, 2022? What does that mean for you? Just Me, in the, world, I, yeah. the, the minute I can, the minute I can, I'm back on the road. And like, uh, as we were recording this, Ireland is opening up uh, mm. as, as of today. This is like January. They, yeah, so therefore, those gigs will finally happen. Uh, and then the UK thing is they're, they're kind of woven in with the UK tour starting in March as well. So I'm all around the country. A little bit of UK, lots of Ireland for, for spring, lots of UK in autumn, and lots of UK next year. So it's a year, like a full year. Right. And then there's the European ones, and then there's international ones that come after that. Exactly. Yeah. And so there, there are two things that that uh, that are we're working out, watching out for because we have to rearrange all the dates. There's lots of kind of random dates that that shouldn't be where they are. Don't we know about it? We have had to rearrange our tour. We and yeah, tour. we're Absolutely. honestly yeah. we're yeah. pinging up and down the UK like a oh, pair look, of suddenly nuts. there's yeah. huge. Yeah. Yeah. Like exactly it's, it's like an EKG now. This <laughs> day, yeah. uh, and you're going all over the place. But yeah, I have one where I am in Ipswich on a Sunday. Cork on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, oh. and then I've got to get to Belfast on the Thursday, which would be awkward at the best times. You've got to, you've got to get a train up to Dublin, and then you get across from the train station on the west side of Dublin to the train station on the north side of Dublin to get the train to Belfast, which is awkward, but has to accept that. In the middle of this bit, is the parade because that happens to be Paddy's day so oh, I'm going to arrive into Dublin on Paddy's day and then with a suitcase weave my way to the parade excuse me excuse me uh, yeah. and, going, and I'm sure this? no one's going to notice you who's this coming around the corner yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 with his well, box you, of tricks and jokes yeah, well, are you six foot four yeah. like, mm, I don't Hello. recognize Mr. Megaboss is here yeah. 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 barging through there's an American marching band going yeah. is this Ireland yes yeah, Ireland yeah. Uh, so we're like, <laughs> how are we going to get places why is the river not green because we don't do that you do that stuff you do that stuff we don't do that stuff like whatever there's a big there's a big, you know, papier mache giant being walked by <laughs> Spanish puppeteers, like, and I'm just out of the fucking way. I'm going to get into a train. Uh, so I got, I got one of those uh, that I have to cut through, and I, I'm just saying it, there's a lot of that happening, like whatever. But the one that we really want to do is. I'm talking the international one, is there's a, there's a triangle of gigs uh, between uh, Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Malmo, uh, Chris Anson in, in Oslo, uh, and um, Jotobur, uh, which is Gothenburg in Sweet. The, uh, and they're all, they're all gettable to by boat. And Ooh. there's a genuine proposal, and I, and I don't think it's going to happen, we've been pushing this for years, that we would do those with a boat. And that yeah, we would just great. finish the gig. Thank you, Rich. Good night. Get onto the boat. Have a few drinks on the boat. That would be wicked. The captain goes, put, 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 and he pulls out. That would be quite cool. And then we sail to the next no, one. We, in, 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 in the last few weeks, this time in Guadeloupe, uh, there was um, civil unrest because of uh, complaints about the, uh, like across the island, um, because of complaints about mandatory vaccines. And I think it was the um, the pompiers, the fire, the fire service, that right. the French government said, you got to have vaccines if you want to work for the fire service. Oh, right. okay, and yeah. the French fire service in mainland France, as well as the French territories, just have this reputation of they don't fuck about. Like if the fire service don't like something, they'll riot. And it's really and there's this amazing footage during the, the Gilets Jaunes protests about the French fire service kicking the shit out of the police, which is amazing because yeah, you, you, you kind of go, yeah. you feel like they're on the same side. So like they're yeah, all part yeah, yeah, of yeah, yeah. the same team. Um, so there was real civil unrest, and we had to we had to kind of rethink. It just so happened that when all the roads were closed across Guadeloupe, we were shooting in a hotel, which we never normally do, about an hour away from the village, the town where we all normally live. And all of the cast and crew was in this hotel, so we were relatively safe because it was behind gates. And so we did our few days filming, and then bless them, like the the, co the production company had to go, okay, well, we're going to have to rewrite the episode so that it doesn't take place back in. So we oh, couldn't, wow. for the rest of the shoot, we had to stay in this hotel and couldn't go back to our houses and the hotels an hour away where we'd lived for six months. But nobody minded. And the reason was because when we left, um, when it was time to leave, we finished shooting and then we all got taken by boat on these massive boat trips with big coolers full of beer and whatever we wanted. Boat trip! All right, across nice. the island, through the Caribbean, had to pack up all our stuff, then got brought back to the, uh, to the, um, to the hotel on the boat and then got brought back there to go to the airport. So it was like, 
Well, you have three boat, free boat trips, and it's just like boat you just put me in best. mind of it the going. Best. The boat I don't the best. care what the journey is. If I'm going by boat, that is baller. There was no point at which they said, "Bad news, everybody!" Like Tootsie, we have to do the entire episode live. <laughs> uh, and you go, yeah. "Okay, this yeah. is my way out of this show." Uh, yeah. I am not Dorothy Michaels, yeah. uh, British detective brought to Guadalupe <laughs> yeah. to solve murder. I'm her brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. Also, if you um, if you're going from from Copenhagen to Malmo, you'll go over the bridge. Right? Oh, I've gone over the bridge. It's great. Have You've you ever gone, been over I've the done bridge? That. I've, done the, I've done the thing on the last tour. You go over the you go over the Ottersund Bridge, and uh, it fr- is from the bridge, every bit. And it was a big from full one of the greatest and TV and shows of all time. Oh, it was so good. Yeah. The, uh, uh, and uh, it's you no, know, it's, it's it's a it's a cool commute. Yeah, because it is only a, it's only a thirty four minute thing, but like whatever it is, yeah, it's, it's an great. excellent drive. Like yeah, I mean, it really kicks the Severn Bridge into a cocktail. Yeah, it really yeah. does. It's not like, you know, best will in the world is Severn Bridge. Yeah, like, well, I mean, well done. But the, but the yeah. is, is quite a thing, yeah. like whatever. But, uh, but there's a lot of going underneath on a boat. <gasps> so yeah, look, I, it might not happen. Look, look, all is this year, back on the road. Please let me back into the theatres. I don't care if I have to move your dates to get my day up and running. Uh, I don't give a damn. <laughs> Fuck you, right? Uh, don't get you, you, you're stepping That's into fine. my world here like this. So you we go. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So it's grand. So I don't care. Picking up the. I don't care if they're still booing you when I go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they will be. They will be. Yeah. 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 The, uh, Silence. So. Boo. Thank yeah. you. The, oh, good uh, luck with yeah. it, man. I'm glad you're going to get back out there. Oh, man. It must have been tough for the last few years. Yeah. So. I mean, also because the show's done. The show's written. Yeah. I have a show. I've done two weekends of it, and then it all stopped. Again, yeah. you're not, you're yeah, not yeah. still having. You, are you still doing homeschooling, or is that over? Oh no, 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 no. That was, that's all. Oh, awesome. no, never no, no, no. have I been more pleased that I don't have kids mm, when I heard about that's, people's homeschooling that's a stories. Particular, Especially particular when, job. I'm when home, you're the teacher. What I'm teaching. <laughs> <laughs> didn't school didn't yeah, do well with me. Yeah, yeah I, whereas I'm my kids are like, oh what, more maths again? Yes, kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How the, the queen of the subjects. Let's yeah, yeah. do more maths again. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, no man, thank thanks you. so much for coming. A pleasure, and absolutely delight that. Great man, and uh, yeah, thank you so much no for coming on our little podcast. I guess I should have asked you what boat you're planning to go on. Which which of your favourite six that's boats you're planning boat. to go on? Be so that would be and it. That's the fifth boat, and then go and pull out, and then you leave by boat. This oh, be so good. Thanks, mate. What a Thank pleasure. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate yeah, it. I hope you have a fantastic time uh, yeah. on the tour. Good luck on the tour, Thank man. You. Enjoy. Cheers, Daryl Brie. Daryl Brie, everyone. Thanks, Thanks mate. my mate. <laughs>